like you know i will i will tell the girl to say that like you know yeah i find you attractive i want to have a relationship with you it looks a bit like you know manipulative but so hey guys hope you are doing good i'm doing good too and in this video i will talk about what we can do to improve our stereotypes uh, what i mean by this is that uh, the two stereotypes who are suffering in dating market in open dating market in the west are indians and asians uh, I don't want to discriminate. I love all races. I love black. I love white. I love Latino. I love... What else we have? Arabs. So I love all races. But uh, the two races who suffers a lot in, uh, in dating market are uh, Indians and Asians because uh, Indians and Asians both are seen as nerd and uh, not that attractive in the Western market. Uh, you know it, I know it, that's the reality. Deepak, the most proven dating coach in the world. So I was thinking, uh, what, what, what society can do to improve this stereotype? Uh, what society can do? Um, I also did something like that to improve uh, the stereotype uh, of, of, of these races on my level uh, even if it is a short it, it's a small thing what i did i will explain to you what i did but i did it something like that for on my level but again like you know what i'm doing is is a very small compared to what is need to be done in the whole society so i was watching this cbb channel coach black pill and uh, in the old videos he was looking a bit negative so i i in one of my video i told like you know a bit negative guy like uh, you should not send your pictures uh, to rate the looks but uh, uh, some of his recent videos uh, he is looking quite optimistic quite positive so which is not bad which is good so i was watching one of his video and uh, he was talking about uh, can society fix the incel problem and in this video he came up with the concept that uh, that uh, if we can make a movement like positive positivity that like like uh, like you know guy who are not looking good looking who are not looking good the guys who are not looking good like average looking below average guys uh, they are accepted in the society they they were shown in front of girls as like you know cool guys and then what will happen when the girls see them and they will accept the, them as a cool guys and then they will like to date with them. And that proposal is what if we were to develop a male body positive positivity movement for all guys and try and walk away from this whole idea of like only celebrating the Chad alpha male. What if we were to develop, what if the mainstream media was to push a male body positivity movement aggressively like what if we were to do the male equivalent you know all men have curves like it sounds ridiculous and you might think well what would that do you know is that going to change who stacy finds attractive on tinder and the answer is actually yes potentially so he also explained which is also right because uh, uh, what we pre perceive at attractive can change can be changed by media which is quite true what we perceive attractive can be changed by media so uh, in the very old days in the very old centuries uh, the girl who was who were like the girls who were fat they were seen attractive because uh, when you are fat then you are you, you are you are having good food and like you know you're coming from healthy family something like that so the fat girls were attractive in the past in the old centuries and now the skinny slim girls are seen attractive so you know uh, the what we find attractive can be changed well guess what back in the renaissance period it was the exact opposite us guys we were genuinely attracted to a chubby girl you know like we got wooded up, wooded up over it. Like we actually um, found the overweight girl much more attractive. The idea of this type of physique would have been really unattractive back in the 15th, 16th century. You know what I mean? Like we think. So this is really good if like uh, society, if society show these, like, you know, if we show 
uh, Indians or Asians as Chad like uh, uh, like d dating like white girls uh, girls then they will be perceived as cool guys and then they will be more accepted as positive stereotypes in the Western culture. Then he was also showing the example of BuzzFeed where the guys are not Chad looking guys, they are not Chads, but uh, the audience of BuzzFeed, uh, like the girls, they, they want to have the guys like that as cool guys, want to date them and something like that. So there are a group of guys over at BuzzFeed called the Try Guys. They're very famous. A lot of you will know who the Try Guys are. Now, these guys, for all intents and purposes, are average-looking dudes. You know, they range from about a 4.5 to a 7. And these guys are renowned by their audience members, their teeny bopper audience, as being so cute. You know, every girl in the BuzzFeed comment section think Zach is just so attractive. You know, they would do anything to have Zach as their boyfriends. And the reason is not because of what some guys in like the lookism forums will say, like, oh, you know, they just want to take advantage of him or or they see him as like a beta provider boyfriend and whatever. No, these these um you know, these teenagers and these, you know, early twenty something year olds in the comment section, they are genuinely, genuinely physically attracted to these guys and it's because in a sense they've been marketed is kind of the word that I'm going to use here you see what happens is that when you take a group of guys that are just you know average looking now this would not work on like a Danny DeVito type you know level of looks but you know you take a bunch of guys that are clearly just normie tier and you showcase them on a personality level you know you introduce their personality level to millions of teenage girls basically and what happens is that it humanizes them it makes it 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 has an effect that i am struggling to put into words but i know that it's real and i see it all the time and look the reality is is that if we were to do this on like a mass level if we were to do like a media campaign to do this with all guys you know in the sort of like anywhere from like a two or a three out of ten all the way up to a seven you know Real men have curves. All men are beautiful. You know, real men are under five foot seven. If we were to do some sort of giant media campaign. So what we see is like, you know, uh, this is already happening. The, uh, the society, the BuzzFeed is showing these guys as cool guys. And the girls already like these guys and want to date these kind of guys. So you see, uh, we can change. Uh, we can change what the girl find attractive. So in this way, if we do with Asian, Indian and Asian guys, then it sh should also work. I know this is a bit like, <laughs> like what the f I'm talking about, this not, cannot happen. This is more like a hypothetical kind of scenarios I'm talking about. Um, so uh, also, I was watching this video. This is, uh, do I need to lower my standards, Raj and Danny? Uh, I was watching this video and the video start really good and um, I will not go into too detail but like you know what they are talking you can watch by yourself so the video was starting really good and uh, they are doing kind of like you know dating like uh, they were uh, they have to ask some question with each other and then at the end like you know you find chemistry not chemistry you find attractive not attractive and uh, in the end actually uh, the guy asked, this Indian guy asked, like, you know, this, this blonde girl, like, you know, do you feel chemistry? So, straight to the point. So, I was thinking, like, uh, um, hmm. Uh, do you feel chemistry? Straight to the point. Yeah, right? I guess it's, it's never, nothing wrong being straight to the point. <laughs> hmm. I think that my initial reaction would be like to be friends okay so like i would definitely like hang out okay you know there's like a range of like never wanting to see that person again and like wanting to get married tomorrow and i would say like if we could do these kind of really mm -hmm. cool events in the city that we've been talking about together that that would be fun yeah i agree yeah sounds good <laughs> Uh, the girl 
uh, said to him like, you know, let's just be friends. Let's just be friends. And uh, hmm. so like if, if this will be seen by a lot of guys, like a lot of audience uh, all over the world, then uh, it will be seen as like, you know, this, this blonde girl didn't find this, find this guy like attractive and like, you know, um, Indian guys are not perceived attractive. So if I would be, if I would be have the control of this, this show, then I would, I would maybe change the script. Like, you know, I will, I will tell the girl to say that like, you know, yeah, I find you attractive. I want to have a relationship with you. It looks a bit like, you know, manipulative, but you know, with, with, if you have the power of media, power of, you know, this, um, you can do anything. So, uh, so I would be doing if if this show would have uh, would have in in this show if this girl would have said at the end, um, yeah, I I I do feel chemistry and would like to see you again for a date and let's see how it goes. Uh, that would help in a way that maybe the guy, girl like this start to find the guy like this attractive. So again, it's a hypothetical scenario, and uh, but it it will it will it will I guess it will help uh, the it this kind of video if we change the outcome may help uh, in um, in in perceiving like you know these stereotypes Indian or Asian stereotypes attractive to 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 in Western society. I did the same thing. Uh, I was in um, uh, I was in this uh, this uh, this uh, Venus Festival in Berlin, and I was asking this question to the girls um, uh, that like you know, do you like to date Indian or Asian guys? Uh, so what do you think that the girl, all the girls said uh, yes. No, um, the many girls were racist. Racist in the sense, I will, I will not say racist. They have, they said clearly that uh, we don't want to date Indian guys because they are X, Y, Z. I don't want to go in detail, but they clearly said no, no, no brown guy, uh, no, only European guy, something like that. Many girls said this thing, but I showed this video in such a way that uh, all white girls find Indian guys, Indian race attractive. Actually, in the first, uh, first I was, uh, I want, I was, uh, I wanted to make video. I will show this video as honest as possible, uh, and then I will, I will tell the world, like you know, we Indian need much more game, you know, in getting girls. But uh, I dropped that idea. I thought deeply that it can really hurt even more, like you know, the Indian stereotype, something like that. Uh, because if this video get like you know many views or some or like get viral and it can create problem more it can hurt the Indian race more because uh, at the end like mainstream people don't really care about like you know oh we need more game they will see oh this white girl is not finding this guy attractive and you know then we will also not find them attractive so so I cut all that part and I showed this video in such a way that like all white girls find Indian guys attractive. Uh, this is what I did on my level. That's the maximum what I did. And um, what else I do? I teach game and help like, you know, this, I mean, I'm teaching game to every race uh, and Indian race as well as Asian Indians, every race I'm, I'm teaching and uh, this is what I can do on my level. And if something you can do on your level, you should also do it. And uh, yeah, this is how I see. Um, I know this video is a bit different video. Um, I just thought I want to talk about this matter to you guys. So that's why I'm standing and talking to you. And if you like my content, then like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button. And uh, also in the comment section, uh, tell what you what you think about this idea what you find about it what you think about it uh, I want to read your comment I want to know your views also and also I'm also releasing a new product dating mastery uh, in few months so 
uh, that product will definitely put your game to the next level i promise you so stay tuned subscribe stay subscribed and also in the in the description you have like join the email list so that you will get notified uh, about the new news uh, or more information of the product so stay in touch with us and we see you in the next video take care bye also guys don't forget to watch the playlist rock solid infields on this channel where i'm doing live flirt picking up girls in front of camera showing top level pickup and attraction skills and also don't forget to watch student transformation and testimonials where how i teach my student showing full documentaries and student success <laughs> <laughs>